The first device that we'll add to our system will be the pulse station. And this is a polycarbonate pulse station, and the address for that device will be address number one. Now, as it says up here, they must be set to either a zero or a one. And a zero, if you move the uh, dip switch to the zero position or on position, it has a value of zero. If you move it to the one or off position, it has a value of the indicated location. Here's our pull station, and we'll open it up so that we can get to the dip switching mechanism. So we've got it fully opened here, and we'll open the little plastic cover plate. And once we've got the cover plate out of the way, you'll notice that down inside here we have the dip switches. And as we said, this device will be address number one, which means all dip switches will be in the on position except for pot number one. Our next device is a monitor module. This one happens to be a single monitor module. And we notice here that segments one through seven will set the address, whereas segment number eight is what is used to determine whether it's going to be wired class A or class B. In our particular item, as we said, it'll be address number two, and we will choose class B wiring. So here is our monitor module, and you can see here that we've got the inline resistor placed on the B terminals there. And our address for this device we said was going to be number two. And if we look closely, you can see that I have depth set the dip switch pot number two to the off position. All others are in the on position. Now the final switch, as we said, segment number eight, we move the dip switch so that it's showing to the B side, not the A side, class B wiring. Our next item is going to be a, a smoke detector, and that's going to be inserted into a base. And the way you do this is you slide out the addressable card, and as it says up here, remove the pips indicated in black, and that sets the address. So this device is going to be address number 11, and if we look closely here, we can see that each of these have been marked with numbers, and they go from 1 to 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64. So to get an address of 11, 8, 2, and 1, and that makes 11. And here's our little label card here that we slid out of our smoke detector base, and if we look closely at it, you can see that 1, two and eight have been removed. And the easy way to remove these little address setters is we flip the unit over and you'll notice on the back side that they have little slots as if they were a slotted screwdriver slot. You simply use your tech screwdriver, slide it into the little notch, and give it a little quarter turn twist left or right and those pips will pop right out.